Hi there, everyone. Welcome back to Cody's Lab. So inside of this little paper cylinder is one of the most expensive things that I own. In fact, it's up there with the price of diamond, if you consider diamonds to have intrinsic value, which they really don't. So let's open this thing up. You can see I've got some packing peanuts in there to protect it. Of course, I throw it out on the table. There we go. Let's focus the camera a little bit better so you can see what it is. So there you go. Oxygen 18 water. This is uh, water with the oxygen isotope enriched to, I believe, something like 99, 97%. There you go. So this is actually heavy water, but instead of the hydrogens being replaced with a heavy isotope, this is the oxygen replaced with a heavy isotope. It has the same weight, has the same number of neutrons as the ordinary heavy water, but it's the oxygen atom that is heavy rather than the hydrogen. Now oxygen 18 is actually a much more common isotope than the deuterium or hydrogen 2, but oxygen is much more difficult to uh, enrich to a high concentration, and that's because the uh, ratio between the two different uh, masses of the, you know, between the 16 and 18 is a lot uh, less of a difference than between you know, 1 and 2. There's really no chemical reactions that are as efficient at enriching it as you would have with the, say, the Gerter sulfide process for hydrogen. Which means the really the only way to enrich this is either through electrolysis or a gas centrifuge. Which is why this uh, one gram of oxygen-18 water cost around $250. And also the people I bought it from were actually rather suspicious of me because uh, I guess they don't really sell to... Uh, ordinary folks very often because <laughs> this is usually used in the, the medical industry but anyway now that I have a sample I am really curious as whether it tastes the same as the normal heavy water how it uh, tastes sweet will this one taste sweet as well let's go find out shall we so if you guys haven't seen my video where I taste the heavy water, I'd recommend you go watch that now. I'll link that down in the description and probably on the screen if I remember. So the results from that video were very, um, well, it brought up a lot of questions, like why would it taste sweet? I ended up purchasing another bottle of heavy water to confirm, and actually this one did not taste sweet, at least not at first. Um, so I tasted this, and it tasted exactly the same as distilled water. You know, a little musky, but otherwise essentially the same. I tasted it again a couple of days later, early in the morning, and it tasted sweet again. And in fact, I noticed that after a meal, or even several hours after eating, heavy water loses its sweet taste, which is Another really interesting thing, but I guess it makes sense because, you know, if you got a, a dirty palate, it would hide the taste because the taste is very weak. But it uh, makes me think that that might be one of the reasons why some people say it doesn't taste sweet and others do. You know, you have to be able to taste it, and if you've eaten anything, it'll ruin the taste. <clears throat> so I have intentionally not eaten today, and I am extremely hungry, but I should be able to taste uh, very well. So let's actually just confirm that the heavy water tastes sweet to make sure that I haven't uh, accidentally snacked on something in the last little while. Okay, so it definitely tastes the same, tastes sweet. The uh, distilled water, which is what I'll be kind of cleansing my palate with, so to speak, tastes a lot like plastic. Yeah, distilled water tends to absorb its container, but it is a bit musky and maybe just slightly sweet. You know, some people said that uh, distilled water tastes sweet, and it is sort of true, but it's not anything like the heavy water. So, let's open this up and see if it tastes the same as heavy water or if it's completely different. I have looked over the certificate of analysis and doesn't look like there's anything in here that would make it uh, harmful to eat. And, uh, well, oxygen-18 is a fairly common isotope anyway, so enriching it slightly in your body is not going to be harmful. In fact, I think you could replace all of the oxygen in your body with oxygen-18 and it wouldn't kill you. So, there we go. 
That's one difference from heavy water. Where'd my clean pipette go? There it is. I'm just gonna like take the pipette out, and put a little bit on my tongue to see how it tastes. There we go. Hey kitty. Don't knock anything over. Alright, there it is. You wanna zoom the camera in? So here we go. Probably around a tenth of a milliliter or so. I, I really couldn't taste any difference from the, uh, definitely didn't taste like plastic like the distilled water did, but it didn't have the super sweet taste of the uh, deuterium oxide. Let's, uh, let's try one more time just to confirm. Hmm, there might be a slight sweet taste, but it seems to taste like nothing. It is just plain, just like water. <laughs> so there you go. Oxygen 18 water, which has the same mass as uh, hydrogen 2 water. It doesn't seem to really taste sweet. It doesn't taste the same. So that tells me the uh, flavor is given off by the uh, hydrogen somehow. So oh, there you go. So that does narrow down why heavy water has a sweet taste, just a little bit. Still doesn't tell me exactly why, but it uh, throws out a lot of possibilities. In fact, uh, given this new information, I'm leaning towards the hypothesis of the differing bond strengths causing uh, slightly different reactions in your mouth. And, uh, you know, your taste buds kind of ignore what water would normally do and so any difference from that is tasteable. So if you've got the the bonds between the hydrogen and oxygen you know a little bit stronger in the heavy water you know because it takes more energy to knock off your deuterium then it, the ionization and everything is going to be a little bit different and it just so happens that your taste buds see that as being sweet. Before I close out I actually want to taste this one the same way just to see if you know, like the pipette was causing a different flavor. Oh yeah, heavy water is, is definitely sweet. It's, it's like the uh, oxygen 18 water, you know, it, it might be a little bit sweet, but the heavy water, it's obvious. So, I mean, not as obvious as if you uh, stirred some sugar into the water, but it's, it's definitely sweet. Oxygen 18 is used to label chemicals and molecules. It's also used to produce uh, isotopes of fluorine, which are used in uh, you know, medical research. Other than that, it really doesn't have a whole lot of uses as uh, pure water. That's uh, one of the reasons why it's so expensive. But uh, oxygen 18 is very useful for geologists, per se. In fact, uh, I will definitely be using this for some things sometime in the future. Although one thing I definitely want to try is making a doubly labeled water. That is the oxygen 18 and the hydrogen 2. We should make uh, something that's extra heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's not quite as uh, heavy as the uh, tritium oxygen 18 water, but I would actually be able to taste doubly labeled water without uh, fear of radiation poisoning. There's definitely going to be probably at least one more video on this subject. I hope to kind of do like a, a little bit more formal study, you know, get some people together and do sort of a double blind test. Uh, maybe not with the oxygen 18, but uh, definitely with the heavy water. Just so we can maybe pin down more specifically why the deuterium oxide tastes sweet. Hey, can you get me the apple juice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I've been craving sugary beverages all day and uh, Heavy water is not that sugary. <clears throat> you definitely uh, got the one that didn't have pee in it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd notice. <laughs> yeah, now that I've had the apple juice, let's actually uh, do another taste of this. Yeah, it lost all of its sweet flavor. In fact, uh, 
if you were to put these in test tubes and try to have me tell them apart, I would be unable to right now. So it's the next morning. I wanted to publish the video already, but one of my Patreons uh, brought up a good point. Like, I tasted the heavy hydrogen water first. Maybe that uh, could possibly have screwed up the taste. So I'm going to try the uh, heavy oxygen water now that it's uh, several hours later and my palate should be clean again. So here we go. Let's take uh, one more $25 drop of heavy oxygen water. There we go. Let's see how this tastes. Yeah. Hmm. Doesn't taste sweet. Essentially tastes like nothing. There you go, that confirms it. Heavy oxygen water must react differently than the heavy hydrogen water, probably because the mass is in the central atom rather than on the outer atoms. But there you go. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time.